Hey guys, this is me, Bayward. Welcome to my pad. Here's my van. Here's my Montana fish wheel. It's the 4th of July and I wanted to take you out for a ride to see some of these fireworks. I'm just your average trailer park trash that chooses to live this lifestyle. I say why pay double the rent just to share walls with noisy neighbors. I'm not here for the curb appeal so it doesn't bother me what this place looks like. I only see it as I drive my van out of the RV park either to work or a van adventure. I do it for the rent. See, I bought this fifth wheel as an investment. I'm hoping to have the money I save in Bay Area rent pay for the RV in seven years if my calculations are correct. Then we'll basically have a free place to live. Maybe I'll rent it out, become a lord of the land myself, renting my asset out to the serfs. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the evening now. How about we take to the skies? I like the idea of doing this at night because some of my neighbors get a little bit weirded out with drones. They say like, oh, those things with cameras in the sky. Um, so now I've got the cover of the night and the distraction of all of these fireworks. And look at these fireworks, guys. You can see them going off in the distance. We heard them going off, but we really couldn't see any of them. So it's nice to be up in the sky where you can get, you know, a lay of the land. So it looks like there's a lot of either illegal fireworks going off or those are part of a fireworks show in the distance. It's really pretty and I like these types of fireworks. What I don't like are those really loud M80s that shake your windows. Um, my dog Ellie, uh, she used to hate those and it just terrifies most pets. I hate those. But I was once a punk, I guess, and I let those things off in my younger years. Now, isn't this better than watching a fireworks show on NBC or ABC? This fireworks programming is provided to you royalty free by Bayward from me to you guys. No subscription fees for my channel. Just keep on sending me those $100 bills in the mail, guys. Come on, guys, send me those monies. My drone and luxury fifth wheel are going to need to be serviced at some point, and I don't want to use my own money for that. So feel bad for me, and then please send me some money, guys. What do I need, a nice rack, a pretty face, be female? I mean, how come you guys aren't sending those monies in? Uh, but I'm really just a modern day surf just like you, renting my little plot of land, paying my lord and government 50% of my wages after all the taxes they collect. But we're doing it in style. You know, I could have saved a lot of money buying an appreciated five year old RV, but I figure if I'm gonna have to live in it, I might as well buy a nicer one and then just tack on an extra year or two of living in it. So what do you guys think? Thanks for coming along on this ride, guys. I uh, hope you're not getting motion sickness. Are you guys still enjoying this? Um, I guess you're still watching, so you must be. So these are pretty great fireworks. Um, what's your favorite firework? Have you ever had a homemade firecracker go off in your hand like I have? I have these uh, memories of my, my father uh, would buy black gunpowder from the gun store and then load it into old plastic film canisters and then wrap that in duct tape, uh, put a fuse on there, and then we'd light it and then run. And then, uh, wow, those things were so loud when they went off. You'd have to wear ear protection because I remember my ears would ring. So what was your favorite firecracker back in the day? Um, I remember mine was Mighty Mites. Uh, I think that's what they were called. And you light a string and they're all tied together um, and they would go off and it would sound like, I guess, firecrackers or an automatic uh, assault rifle or something like that. Um, and we used to untie them and then light them individually and then blow, blow up stuff like Matchbox cars or G.I. Joes or we'd put one in an ant hill. And I remember some of them, some of them had um, what we called fast fuses. So after you lit them, um, they basically just explode like right in your hand. And I've had a couple go off in my hand. Um, man, I remember I just like how much my hands would throb. Um, yeah, great memory, just good memories. Uh, and I remember also we had a, a Roman candle artillery fight in our backyard. Uh, that was a really bad idea. Uh, we nearly burned the house down. Um, one got shot and made it past the screen door and it, it lit the carpet. Ah, good times. Okay, let's go ahead and follow this guy that just drove past me on the ground. Okay, bravo, team leader one. We've got our eyes on the subject. He's going some, he's doing some avoidance turns, trying to shake our surveillance. 
He's driving a white Bronco, heading westward. Alright, uh, he's driving at an increased rate of speed. Uh, looks like he's trying to lose us. I'm taking the drone in for a closer look. Uh, permission to enter sector Alpha 009er. Okay, I'm just waiting for approval from command. Okay, I think I got it. Okay, we're heading on in. Okay, uh, looks like my tactical drone can't keep up. I have to enter sport mode uh, to bypass the speed governor. And, uh, okay, I can't do that right now. I, I just bought this drone and I'm a bit chicken. Um, I don't want to crash this thing. All right, so guys, that brings us to the end of this video. If you want to see uh, me enter sport mode so I can track this perp, uh, I'm going to need a budget for drone repairs in case of crashes. And that's where you guys come in and you send me those monies. So get on that, guys. So uh, if you want to see more videos like this, Click in the search bar, type in drone footage, and I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Nomadic Fanatic. Uh, he needs more watch time so he can buy uh, kibbles and bits for his little rascal kitty, Jax. Little Jaxy. Okay, guys, it's, it's night-night time for the drone, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Take care.